Today I'll be giving you a quick tour of my Notion secondary. Essentially, I'm using Notion as a powerful knowledge management tool where I capture everything from ideas, meeting notes, important dates and videos in one place. This system allows me to resurface all this knowledge and information I've collected over time to use for my relevant projects, tasks, goals and content creation. At the top of the page, I have hyperlink text to the four main pages, projects, areas, resources and archive, or what we call the para system. Right below there, we have the areas gallery view, where we can enter each area to see the relevant projects, tasks, notes and resources. I have grouped areas into larger domains such as personal, work and college, which can be customized based on the individual. Beside this view, we have a navigation toggle where we can use to jump to the different sections on this dashboard, which is especially useful on mobile. Then we also have a toggle view to go to the designated dashboard pages for the different views that already exist on the main dashboard. This allows for a more focused and clean view of what you want to see. For example, if I only want to see my notes, I can simply click on the notes page to see what I need. Next, we have a powerful inbox view to capture all kinds of information from tasks, notes to resources, simply by jumping from one tab to another. Beside this inbox view, we have the simple gallery view of the projects, where you can also see a progress bar based on the completed tasks. One of my favorite sections is the multi-column task view where you can quickly see what you need today, or tomorrow, and the next 7 days. Moreover, you can drag and drop to quickly reschedule them. If I have lots of tasks for today, I can simply drag and drop for tomorrow. And below that, we have a list of unscheduled tasks and the calendar view. We can easily schedule a task by dragging and dropping a task from the list view to any day on the calendar to schedule them. Moving on from tasks and projects, we have the notebooks and notes. Notes can be pinned to appear on its own designated view and also be grouped by notebooks to for better organization. The calendar section is made up of a list view and a calendar view. We can group by event types such as meetings, personal or college where you can then create a specific calendar tab to filter out what's relevant. Next, we have resources where you can save useful links, files such as PDFs, articles, podcasts or Twitter threads. Similar to the notes database, we can pin resources to show it on the designated view. Resources can be linked to almost every other database including projects, tasks and notes. And also add text and category to easily find them in the future. Under the resource page, you will find the different views for the resources to help you better organize and search for the resources you need. And in the final section, we have the weekly review. The weekly review is rather important for any productivity system, and especially for a second brain system where you collect lots of different kinds of content. I have created different sets of database view with preset filters to help you declutter and mine down, reflect on the past week, review and archive inactive items, and plan for the week ahead. Doing weekly reviews as such will help you better focus on important projects and help you better deal with the new information and remove any potential distractions or information that are no longer relevant. And that's a quick tour of the Notion Second Brain system. And if you want a digital system to organize your work and life, check out the link in the description to find out more on getting this Notion template. I'll be doing a more in-depth explanation of my Second Brain setup very soon, so be sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss out.